Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. While I normally fly an Ishker for Blood Raider sites, I've instead chosen to fly another assault frigate called the Jaguar. This ship is highly suited for the Old Mini Cultivation Center site. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures are referred to as DED rated sites. DED stands for the Directive Enforcement Department, an NPC corporation that is a division of Concord. Such combat sites are given a difficulty rating on a scale of 1 through 10. The Old Meany Cultivation Center is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.9 and higher throughout the western regions of Amar space. This includes Genesis, Kador, Corazor, and Canid. There are actually relatively few systems where this site can spawn. In Genesis, you lie and Orafe are nestled in close to Galent space. And in western Amar space, there's a handful near Corazor Prime, another small group just to the south in Kador, and another handful near Canid Prime. This site is a good place for younger pilots to practice their PvE combat skills. It also has reasonable potential for some decent loot drops. Only Corvette or Frigate class ships will be allowed into the site. Old Meany is a mining relic. Previously it was a small mining outpost, but was raided so frequently by Serpentis pirates that it was abandoned. Today it contains some experimental biodomes, and further inside the complex Amarians are creating a spiritual center. This site has a DED threat assessment of training. One of ten. You will land directly on an ancient acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the first room of the site. Amar contracted biodomes are being built in the ruins and debris from an old mining outpost. The biodomes are vulnerable, but construction is going well. It is handled by questionable contractors, and in dealing with them, caution is advised. The first room has a total of 15 Blood Raider NPCs, all flying corvettes. The first group is a pair of corvettes greeting you near the landing beacon. The second group hovers near a container named a Lonely Heart, consisting of another three corvettes. The third group guards another container named Drifting Cask, consisting of a single corvette. The fourth group forms a line in the back between two radio telescopes, consisting of seven more corvettes. The fifth and final group guards the Biodome Gardens, consisting of two more corvettes. The gate to the next room is locked, requiring all NPCs in the area to be destroyed. The deadly looking sentry gun near the acceleration gate can be ignored. It's not so deadly after all. The two named containers only drop metal scraps or regular ammunition. The biodome gardens will always drop a first tier overseer's effects. It also seems to drop a handful of metal scraps and regular modules. While I did not witness it, it's possible it may also drop a Dark Blood module. You don't actually need to destroy the Biodome Gardens to complete the site. The Amar Empire claimed this dead space area for cultural reasons. Amarian theologists suspect the location of the complex might be important in a religious context, and bluntly state that a higher power might be directly at work here. Security was outsourced to a renegade squadron of Corpus Blood Raiders. Caution is advised. The second room has a total of 22 Blood Raider NPCs, once again all flying corvettes. The first group greets you on the landing beacon, consisting of two corvettes. The second group forms a line near the front, guarding a pair of Amar chapels and silos. This group consists of eight corvettes. The third group forms a similar line near the back, guarding a trio of Amar chapels. This group consists of six more corvettes. The fourth and final group guards the central Amar Cathedral and a stuffed container, consisting of another six corvettes. The stuffed container cannot be accessed while it's being guarded. You only need to destroy the six corvettes in the nearby group. It will always drop a second tier Overseer's effects, and has the potential to drop one or more Corpy C-type Dead Space modules, or a Dark Blood module. A ship like the Jaguar, fit with light missiles, will run this site in under four minutes. Because the entrance gate is restricted to frigate-class ships, assault frigates like the Jaguar are pretty much the perfect fit for this site. 
While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 10 Old Meanie sites. Over this period, 7 of these dropped something beyond the Overseer's effects. The best result was a Corpy C-Type multi-spectrum coating. This, or the small armor repair, are pretty much exactly what you're hoping for. Overall, I was quite pleased with the consistency of the Dead Space drops in this site. In high security western Amar space, you can also probe down other DED rated sites like the Blood Raider Human Farm, Blood Raider Intelligence Collection Point, and Malzata Monastery. The Blood Raider Psychotropics Depot can only be found in high security space through a lucky escalation from a Blood Den. Note that the eastern Amar regions have similar combat sites featuring Sanchez Nation NPCs. Other NPC pirates include Rogue Drones, the Serpentus, Garistas, and Angel Cartel. My journey to host a complete set of combat site video guides began in 2020 with a similar 13 part series for Serpentus combat sites. I followed this up with similar series for Garistas and Angel Cartel. If you find yourself outside of Amar space, you can check out those videos right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RileyEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.